Initially, I had planned to make a video on that fella on top of my computer, but I saw an article posted over on the video cards website going over the NVIDIA RTX 50 series and a couple of other things that I wanted to share with you. So let's quickly go over that. This right here, pretty cool photo, right? I'm just gonna take a wild guess. It's a really quick wild guess. Ready for this? Mid journey. But anyways, Copite 7 Kimi, he's the one that's like always leaking this stuff to be completely honest and he's like correct like 80 percent of the time so the article states the following it says the rtx 40 series lacks key features like displayport 2.1 and pci express 5.0 compatibility at launch i absolutely read that sentence incorrectly fully aware of that so both standards are already available from competing brands such as amd with their rx 7000 series with displayport 2.1 and more threads s80 gpu with pcie gen 5 connectors and it is time for nvidia to catch up just gonna be real with you who else just barely like witnessed me speaking gibberish just being real with you boys just being brutal with you as per the reputed NVIDIA leaker, Copite 7 Kimi is, says that the upcoming series is going to feature DisplayPort 2.1 and then AMD has turned this feature on all RDNA 3 desktop GPUs into a marketing win. The Gaming RX 7000 series has DisplayPort 2.1 UHBR 13.5. Again, gibberish implementation with a maximum bandwidth of 54 gigabytes per second meanwhile the workstation w7000 models come with full uhbr20 implementation holy moly there buddy with 80 gigabytes of bandwidth it's not clear which version of the standard will nvidia rtx 50 series support so i'm gonna be real with you right now okay not trying to be mean negative or whatever and i get it yep if we're gonna be paying three thousand dollars for a graphics card should have the best of the best but i'm just gonna take a wild guess how many of you actually have an 8k 240 hertz monitor i want you to honestly answer that please tell me please tell me you're gonna you're just gonna be like oh i'm the most rich successful human ever and i can afford a fifteen thousand dollar monitor or tv just saying bro the physical modifications of the rtx 50 series may extend further as it and let's be real as well what what games nowadays like dude like we can't even we can't even buy a three thousand dollar graphics card and get over 60 fps in games like starfield and the new art whatever the arc survival the the new one that just come out just being real with you bro like even with dl <laughs> and we're talking about somebody that has one dude like i'm just being serious man like there's a lot of games that are releasing nowadays like you can't even get over 4k 60 fps so uh and i never thought that i would i never thought i would see the the, the light of day or a 4000 4000 not 400 we're talking three zeros four thousand dollar computer just gets bent over by by a video game i never thought i would say the ps5 is a good value no play added that the next blackwell gb20x series should use TSMC 3 nanometer process technology and it's not stated if one should expect a custom 3N node or any of the available nodes that are shipping are about dude I'm really bad at reading I'm so sorry guys in volume in the future such as N3E, N3P, N3X and then two months ago rumors about the use of a 3 nanometer node for the Blackwell HPC series were already circulating so this should claim that it would be true the same foundry is going to be used in gaming series worth noting that amd intel mediatek and qualcomm are also to adopt their products for three nanometer nodes from the same foundry as things stand right now blackwell gaming does not have a release date yet however nvidia is confident that it's going to start shipping blackwell hpc gpus later on this year and uh hello drop down and so the gaming series should follow shortly one should expect a lot more leaks as the next gp20 gaming chips start to tape out and then the specs get finalized copi 7 gaming should be among the first to report it so here you go rtx 50 series node and all of the spec stuff and then we also have the the nvidia rtx 40 series 
so it has tcmc this is like dude this is honestly why i like it. the video cards website is because it the 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 articles like it, it's hard to like for me as somebody that like needs to read the same thing seven million times in order to remember it you know what i mean like there's one sentence i need to read that one sentence like 700 times in order to remember that sentence so when i see charts like this i'm actually able to comprehend it my brain can be like oh okay so uh the nvidia geforce rtx 50 series we got blackwell 88 lovelace gd gddr7 gddr6 and gddr6x 384 so these are the same hdmi 2.1 display port 2.1 hdmi 2.1 display port 1.4 pcie 5.0 4.0 16 pin 12 volt 2 tie 6 so overall man it's looking pretty good for the 50 series and i'm really hoping that we actually get a uh you know a 40 or a 50 90 and a 50 80 that doesn't get bent over by a video game wouldn't that be awesome to spend over two thousand dollars and actually have a game run well um so let's go ahead and move on to the next holy moly what what just happened here video cards oh my god they literally redesigned their website I'm, I'm being real with you hold on oh okay so i was on the wrong one um bruh okay this is the one I was, so this is because the nvidia rtx and then there's this one um what was the other one? Oh my god hold on oh here we go this is the one all right Oh, all right so then we got this right here we got the geforce rtx 4090 is erased from nvidia's chinese website basically what this is about is their their stop production they're stopping production on the the like the 4090 and the 4080 and then they're gonna they're gonna do a quick cash grab with the rtx 4080 super and the 4090 super and uh yeah not saying it's not going to be worth it, but I'm just being real with you. So this right here, AMD Ryzen 9 8940HS Hawkpoint CPU shows up in a new test. So I'm going to go to scroll down here so that you guys can see what ended up happening here. So this is all the specs and all that stuff. I'm sure, yeah, you guys can see it. Then we got the memory information and all of this. And then if we scroll down, he's like doing all of this stuff. And then right here we got the single core and then the multi-core and these are all that yeah, you guys can see um the specs for this one and then so these are the Ryzen phoenix series you guys can see all those specs and then this right here look man i'm gonna be real with you okay like i get it i3 everybody's like oh i3 no oh i3 it's so bad it's so bad why are you using an i3 like dude the 13100 is a great value for a 100 dollars cpu and please do not give an opinion on that state facts if you go and leave a comment okay it's a fact your boy has built hundreds of computers at this point it is a fact that is a good cpu for 100 dollars. is it a is it better than an i5 no dude no it's not better than an i5 but use use this thing called common sense we have 100 dollars cpu versus 300 dollars cpu you go ahead and tell me dude 200 dollars difference is that worth it to you all right man so keep your opinions down in, down down in, down in the lower part of your brain and state facts down in the comments so that's good as uh so we're gonna go ahead and scroll down here for the um for the specs here so i actually so i all right i don't want to get too off topic and uh i'm gonna make sure you guys all right here we go so here's all the specs 14 at 900 that's a lot of stuff but anyways yeah boys that's all the stuff I wanted to cover today. We're going to have a video covering this build over here. This is the first time I've used this case. It's the new NZXT H6 Flow RGB case. Um, pretty cool computer. Yeah, I call it White Tiger. But I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.